Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Cup. Today we're making a terrine, and it's a mix of pork and blue cheese. I was in Normandy a couple of weeks back, and I met this crazy, in a good way, pottery guy. He makes his own pottery. Apparently quite famous, and he makes these terrine molds or forms, and I just love this with the pig on top. So we're making a pork terrine with some blue cheese and some thyme. We're going to make it in this one. But before we have a look at the ingredients, if you're not a su subscriber to the channel yet, please do me the favor, hit the subscribe and check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode is online. But now, let's have a look at the board. And there's that, not that many ingredients. I mean, terrines, there's so many different kinds, right? But we're making a relatively simple one. It's just pork, blue cheese. So we have 150 grams of blue cheese. I'm using a Swiss one. It's important that it's a bit creamy. So a Roquefort, for instance, would be too dry. Um, a Gorgonzola could work. There's a French one called Fourme d'Ambert that would work, and this works. Just make sure that it's not too dry. We have 500 grams of pork belly, 400 grams of pork neck, one egg, 50 milliliters of cream, some thyme, and salt and pepper. It's 15 grams of salt, and two and a half to three grams of pepper, freshly ground. Now, if your scale doesn't do that, it's about a teaspoon. And the first thing we need to prep is the pork belly and the pork neck. And we also need to prep the cheese. But that's about it for the prep. Then we're just going to mix everything together. But let's start with the pork belly. Now, I was a bit lazy, so I already asked the butcher to slice it into half a centimeter slices, because that is what you need. So if you don't do that, you need to slice your pork belly. A tip is to remove the skin of the pork belly before you slice it, which I forgot to ask the butcher. So we have to remove the skin on each slice. I'll just show you on one, because otherwise it'll probably get a bit boring. And you also want to remove any kind of cartilage. I hope you can see that there. That's quite easy, just go in with your knife. You don't have to be too careful because it's all going to mix up later anyways. But just cut them out like this. Try not to get too much meat with it. And now you want to slice it also in about half a centimeter slices. You want it quite small and you will see after why that's important. So once you sliced it, we're going to make like cubes. So just cut it up. And in the end, you'll, you'll end up with like half centimeter cubes or maybe even a bit smaller. So if you do this to all of your pork belly slices, put, just put them in a separate bowl. And then uh, we'll move on to the pork neck after this. We're done with our pork belly. I got a bit ahead of myself. Before we do the pork neck, we need to work this pork belly. So wash your hands and then just go in with your fist and start working it. This will probably take two, three minutes, depending on how quick you are. So I'll see you in a bit once this is done. So that's fine. You just want to break it down a bit. Now you might ask, why doesn't it just ask the butcher to mince the pork belly? Well, mince would be much finer than this. You can do that if you want. Just know that the terrine at the end will be a finer terrine, like smoother. And I prefer this a bit more rustic. So now let's move on to the pork neck. Now for the pork neck, we want to slice again, but a little bit thicker about a centimeter. A 
This you can also ask your butcher to do. I'll show you one. And now we want it in kind of centimeter cubes. So a bit rougher than the pork belly. And this, these will stay more or less whole in the terrine. Let's line them up. Do you want pieces like this? So do that with your pork neck. You can put them in the same bowl as the pork belly afterwards. I'll see you once it's done. There we have our pork neck, our pork belly. Now we'll move on to the cheese. And the cheese is very simple as well. Just cut off the edges. And now we're going to slice this down pretty much the same way as the pork belly. So you just get about half a centimeter. You don't have to be too careful though, because I mean it's it's melting anyways. But this is the kind of size we're looking for. And this you can also put in the same bowl as the pork belly and the pork neck. So I'll see you once we're done with the cheese. So we've done basically all our prep. We've done the cheese, the pork neck, and the pork belly. And now's a good time to preheat your oven. Set it to 160 degrees Celsius with the circulating air. Now we can get our time in there. I just, I'll see if this works. This normally works when it's dry, but it works like this too. We don't need all of this, but just a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. Now for the egg, I always kind of just mix up the yolk and the white before I put it in. The egg goes in. Our 50 milliliters of cream. And our salt and pepper. Now again, we're going with our hands. We don't want to knead it, we just want to mix it. So that everything goes everywhere. So you need to kind of Get your hands down to the bottom, get the pork belly from there, and mix everything in so you get a good even mix. Otherwise you end up with a section that's more cheese or less pork neck, and it's nicest if it's relatively evenly distributed. There, I think we have it. So I'll just wash off my hands quickly. And now it's time to fill. Now, this is about a liter, and we made it for about a liter. There might be a little bit left over. You just put it in, flatten it out. Make sure there's no air pockets, so press it down nicely. Yeah, that's probably a handful too much. Now that's ready to go into the oven. Important is, don't put the lid on in the oven. We're gonna bake it without the lid, and then when we cool it um, in the fridge overnight, we'll put the lid on, and we'll keep the lid on when we keep it in the fridge for whenever we finish it, but don't bake it with a lid, that's the important part. So our oven is up at 106 degrees Celsius, with the circulating air. This goes in now for 90 minutes. So I will see you in 90 minutes when this is baked. And we have a wonderful smelling terrine and house. And here we are. Our terrine is done. It's been in for 90 minutes. Now the first step in the cooling down process is to leave it at room temperature, at room temperature for an hour. So I'll see you in an hour. It's a waiting game. So we'll let it cool for one hour in room temperature. Put a nice lid on with a nice little porky on top. And now it goes into the fridge at least overnight, ideally 24 hours. So I will see you tomorrow when we try this. Let's see if this is set nicely. Yes. 
I don't know if you can see it from the top, how the fat has kind of solidified around it. And it also lost a bit of height, so it's been kind of compressed and it's nice and compact now. We're going to get it out of the terrine form. Just get yourself a knife. And run it through the fat. Now this fat, by the way, tastes amazing. Perfect to use on your bread instead of butter. This part here. Get another knife to see if I can wiggle this loose a bit. See if we can get it out. We'll leave this because we're going to put it back in there afterwards with all the goodness. Now this. Mm. Mm. Amazing. Put this to the side. I'll get rid of this as well. I think one of the best ways to enjoy a terrine like this is with the cornichon. So we're just going to slice one up. And then we can spread it out like this. Now, let's get a slice. But before we slice this up, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, takes you a second, but it's so valuable to me. So please do that. But now, let's cut this. Let's go for the middle to get a nice big slice. I would say about a centimeter. Now, if you're putting this on bread, you can obviously cut thinner. But since we're not, look at that. You see the blue cheese, you see a bit of the thyme and you can see the pork neck that we cut in bigger chunks and the pork belly that's kind of become the holding together part the glue let's see maybe we move it a bit like that and we spread out the Cucumber on the side. And that's basically all that you need. So let's dig into this. Can't wait for this. Mm. Mm. It's a taste explosion. It's the hint of thyme there. It's a nice fattiness, salty. I would even call it umami from the blue cheese. I love it. But I actually prefer to put it on a sandwich, like thinner slice. But it's also good. Get some gherkins on there, a bit of sourness. Mm. This is pretty wonderful what nice things you can make with simple but good ingredients. And obviously a pig terrine or pork terrine form, I mean. That's half of the fun in making this dish for me. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will try it out at home. You don't need the nice terrine form that I had. You can make it in a simple kind of long square pan. And you saw how simple it was, so please give it a try. Let me know what you thought once you've done it. But that's it for today. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Ask any questions you have. And don't forget, if you're not subscribing yet, hit the subscribe and check the um, bell icon so that you get notifications. Thank you for today. Bye-bye.